Happening today for the first time, Columbus is holding a race that could help save the life of someone you love. It's called Breakthrough for Brain Tumors, the Columbus 5K Run and Walk. And 10 TV's Angela Ann joins us now with one man's story on why he's asking all of us to help him with this breakthrough race. Angela. Jim, thanks. Well, there are 700,000 reasons to take part in what is happening later today here in Columbus. That is the number of people right now living with a brain tumor diagnosis. And every day, another 500 people are told that they have a brain tumor. Joining us this morning is Ken Cusbob and his daughter Brenda. And you guys are the reason why Columbus is now one of only eight cities in the country to hold this breakthrough race. Ken, talk about how you got them to choose Columbus. Uh, what we did was when my wife got diagnosed, we talk, started talking about how we wanted to raise awareness because nobody talks about this type of cancer. Uh, through Riverside Hospital, I was told about a seminar that was being put on by the American Brain Tumor Association along with the James. Uh, through that, we ended up doing one in 2013 out in LA. We met the national coordinator of the Brain Tumor, American Brain Tumor Association, and she said they were going to shop Ohio the following month of last year. And they said they were going to be looking at Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. And I just basically, basically asked uh, what would persuade you the most to bring you to our city. And she goes, well, I do have to tell you, I'm from Cleveland. So <laughs> we knew we had a little bit of a battle on our hands. So when I came back, uh, I went straight to Ohio Health at Riverside. And with their new, brand new neuro wing that they're putting onto the hospital, thought it was a perfect time to get involved with this. And then with uh, the James also having a connection to them, brought them in got both of them working on the planning committee and from there because of those two large entities working together on this uh, the American Brain Tumor Association agreed to make it in That's Ohio. Great. So, And you guys are wearing t-shirts that say Karen's Cause named after yes. your wife and, and Brenda you watched your mom um, start with um, just what was a pain a leg a, a pain in her leg came out of the blue can you can you walk us through what happened with her? Well, it was really odd because we had just had a really nice Christmas together and, you know, I live in the L.A. area, so I traveled in for Christmas, everything seemed fine, and, you know, then when I went back home and the New Year started, um, yeah, she just had a, a pain in her leg and it kind of started moving up her left side, so um, Dad took her to the family doctor and uh, he said, I think you had a stroke, you need to go to the emergency room. Um, and from there, you know, did the MRI and said, nope, it's not a stroke, it's much worse than that. Um, and I hopped on a plane as soon as I could um, and just missed seeing her before she went to surgery to have it removed, but um, was there when she got out. and. You know, from there it was just trying to get her to a rehab facility because by then she was paralyzed on her left side. Um, and was it three weeks after surgery that she was able to walk again? Mm -hmm. um, and that was really great. Um, but then after, you know, all the treatments, the radiation and the chemotherapy, it just took a lot out of her. And um, 69 days after she was diagnosed mm -hmm. is when she passed away. And I think in those two months, you guys were saying it really turns a family's world upside down to hear you have a brain tumor. And so some of the funding from this race, Ken, you were saying, will be going back to help many of the families right here in Central Ohio. Right. <clears throat> the American Brain Tumor Association will be, uh, they fund like 52 different agencies around the United States to do research and development. They've recently come up with two new drugs that they're looking at being very uh, positive. They obviously got to do some more testing on it. And then a lot of the educational materials that they print, put out for the different hospitals and stuff like that. Uh, we got plenty of pamphlets from Ohio Health about it, helped me understand what was going on because I'd never heard of it before. And uh, so they definitely help out uh, local families. They also have a 24 hour uh, nurse line that people can call into. It's a 1 800 number on their website at uh, abt.org. Or, yeah. ABTA.org. <laughs> Ken, Brenda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, I'm glad that you kept your promise to your wife to raise awareness for brain tumors, and we hope you guys get a lot of people out there today. Thank Great. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right. Jim, back to you. Angela, thank you. And you can still register for today's race. Breakthrough for Brain Tumors. The race is at 930 this morning at Arch Park at the McPherson Commons. Registration begins at 730 this morning, about an hour and a half from now. We'll have more information on how you can register on 10tv.com slash featured links.